subtracting up to 50. We are going to do some subtraction problems. 48 minus 15. As you can see, I put the string of beads up here. We are first going to solve the problem with the help of the string of beads. As you know, the string of beads first has five red beads and then five black beads. Five red beads and five black beads adds up to 10, but we need to count to 48. So 10, 20, 30, 40, five, and then one, two, three, gets us to 48. Now we need to subtract the 15. So let's count backwards on the string of beads. So there's three, and then let's do the 10. Okay, let's mark that off. So three, so minus three, and then minus 10. So we have 13, so we just need to subtract two more. Okay, that's 15, and now let's count. 10, 20, 30, and one, two, three. So the answer is 33. Now we can also solve the problem 48 minus 15 in another way. Actually, we can solve this problem in two more ways without the help of the string of beads. So let's take a look at the first option. So again, let's write out 48 minus 15. We need to make a round number of 48. So let's add two to it to equal 50. And if we add two to the 48, we always must add two to the 15 then. You have to do the same to each side. So 50 minus 17. Now let's first subtract 10 from the 50. So 50 minus 10 equals 40. So now we only have to subtract 7 from the 40. So 40 minus 7 equals 33 as well. Now let's try one more way to solve this problem. So we're going to split up the 15 into two numbers. So it would be 10 and 5, which makes 15. So let's write that out. 10, 5. So we'll first subtract 10 from 48. So 48 minus 10 equals 38. And now 38 minus 5 equals 33. So as you can see, there are several ways to solve a problem. Whatever way you use is entirely up to you. You just have to use the way that you think is easiest and makes the most sense to you. Let's go ahead and try another problem. 31 minus 14. Let's first use the string of beads to solve this problem. So let's count. 10, 20, 30, and 1. So that gets us to here, 31. And now we have to subtract the 14. So first subtract the one bead, and then we'll do 10, and now we need one, two, three. Okay, so that's 14, and now let's count. 10, five, six, seven. Okay, so the answer is 17. So let's try to solve this a different way. 31 minus 14. So let's first subtract 1 from the 31 to make it a round number. So if we subtract 1 from the 31, we must subtract 1 from the 14. So that gives us 30 minus 13 
equals, okay, break it up even more, so 30 minus 10 is 20, and now we just have to subtract 3 more. So 20 minus 3, again, is 17. Now we see here 41 minus 27. So let's take a look at the string of beats. 10, 20, 30, 40, and a 1 to make 41. So now we need to subtract 27. So let's do the 1, and then 10, 20, so let's write this down, minus 1, minus 10, minus 20, and now we need 5, and 1 more, so 6. Okay, 27. So now let's count 10, and then 4. So the answer is 14. Okay, another way to solve the problem. Let's make this a round number, so we'll add 3 to it. So that is 30, and so if we add 3 to that, we must add 3 to the 41. So we have 44 minus 30. So 44 minus 30 equals 14 as well. So now let's solve this problem by splitting up 27. So we can split up 27 into a 20, and a 7. So let's first subtract 41 minus the 20. That equals 21 and then 21 minus the 7 equals 14. Now remember whatever way you use, whether it's the string of beads, or this way or that way, it's up to you. Use whatever you think is easiest. It will really help you when you're solving your math problems. Alright, great job and I hope to see you again soon.